Hi, this is Rob Jones here with a quick video of how to show you keying in latitude and longitude coordinates within Trimble Access. Typically, you would want to do this for a site calibration. So first, I just want to show you that I have a job here that is just in no projection, no datum, so straight up latitude, longitude. And as you can see, it is a blank job. If I go into the point manager, no points, brand new job nothing in it. So if I want to key in a point, I can go to menu and then key in and I'll key in a point. If you don't see latitude and longitude here, you may need to change your coordinate view. For instance, if you see northings and eastings, you're probably set to grid. So make sure you're set to global so you can actually do a site calibration here. Point name, we'll start with point one. Uh, you don't need a code. So for the latitude, Trimble Access supports both decimal degrees and degrees, minutes, seconds. So if you type in decimal degrees, five, it will convert it to degrees, minutes, seconds. For the longitude, I'm going to actually type in degrees, minutes, seconds. For the degree symbol, you can either find the symbol on your controller or you can go to units and select degrees here and then 44 minutes and 54 seconds and then height i'm just going to put 100 don't really care enter and i will store that and it immediately goes to the next point so again uh, latitude i'm going to do 36 degrees 48 minutes, 37.22 seconds. And longitude, I'm going to do negative 119.750217. Convert it to latitude, longitude. All right, and height, we'll just keep the same. So we can store those. And now, let's see, if we go to our point manager, you can see if we put it in global, there are our keyed in latitude and longitude, northing and easting, and elevation, of course. All right, there you have it. That's how to key in points for latitude and longitude in Trimble Access. Thank you for watching.